It's Wednesday, the 13th of March, Wednesday afternoon, and breaking news, the FAA has just approved grounding of the entire 737, brand new 737-8 and Dash 9 MAX aircraft. This is a result of the two crashes of the two new aircraft types. The first one being back in October, Lion Air Flight 610, 28 October in Indonesia. Preliminary data from that crash indicated a problem with the maneuvering characteristics augmentation system. And the most recent crash last uh, Sunday, the Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302. Though the flight recorders for the Ethiopian Airlines flight have been recovered, the data has not been researched yet on those flight data recorders. They're being shipped out of Ethiopia to either Germany or the United States. We're not clear yet as to where that data is going to be uh, investigated, but that data has yet to be investigated. But because of similarities between the two crashes, the FAA has come out with a new statement today saying, the FAA is ordering the temporary grounding of the 737 MAX aircraft operated by U.S. airlines in U.S. territories. The agency made this decision as the result of data, of the data gathering process and new evidence collected at the site and analyzed today. That's at the site of the Ethiopian Airlines crash site. This evidence together w with newly refined satellite data available to the FAA this morning led to this decision. The grounding will remain in effect pending further investigation including examination of the inf information from the aircraft's flight data recorders and cockpit voice recorders. The FAA team is in Ethiopia assisting the NTSB as the parties to the investigation of the Flight 302 accident. The agency will continue to investigate. So right now we don't know what that exactly that new information is that they recovered from the uh, Ethiopian Airlines uh, flight. As soon as we find out, we'll let you know here. See you here. See the links below in the comments section for more data on the MCAS Maneuvering Characteristics Augmentation System and the Emergency Airworthiness Directive affecting this fleet of aircraft.